Hello and welcome, my name is John Dickinson, here to share with you an exciting new feature in Optics 2022, Particle Illusion. Optics is Boris FX's popular photo editing software, and now with the inclusion of Particle Illusion, you have access to thousands of editable visual effects assets to help take your imagery to the next level. Whether you're a commercial photographer, working with landscapes, creating dynamic portraits, or even designing epic visual effects frames, Optics with Particles now opens up new creative directions. Optics is available as a plugin for Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, and also as a standalone application. And in this example, I'm working in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come over and just right click on my layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. That'll make Optics a smart filter, which means it's gonna be able to be modified later. Next, from the filter menu, I'm gonna choose Boris FX Optics 2022, and this will launch the Optics interface. I'll get a message asking me if I want to apply the previous filters and masks. This is a new file, so I'm gonna click no. And for this example, I'd like to create a hot fiery look using the new particle illusion option and also combine that with other optics filters. The first thing I wanna do though is just give this an overall color treatment. And for that, I'm gonna use infrared by clicking on the stylized tab and just sliding across here and clicking on infrared. This will show me the presets over here in the presets window. I'm gonna choose infrared five. And this gives us a nice black and white look with some subtle diffuse glow. So that's a good base. Next, I'll add a new layer. And notice the new tab down here in Optics 2022, Particle Illusion. If I click that, I'm just gonna move my slider back to the beginning. The first thumb is PI Complete. And when I select that one, over here in the presets window is a complete list of all the installed presets. And there are literally thousands of presets in here. You could spend hours just clicking on these and just trying different looks. Presets have also been organized into categories, things like explosions and fireworks, And also lots of different natural categories, things like smoke, and at the end here, water. So this definitely makes it easier to zero in on a specific style you're after, but you can also do a search. I'm gonna search for fire, and here we can see PI fire and fireworks. Just click on fire. I just wanna talk a little bit about the different kinds of emitters that you can have. If I just come up to the top here and choose big fire, and come over to the parameters window and just drag the time value here. Notice how we can always see the particles. There's no beginning or end. So that's one type of particle emitter. This wall of fire is another. Notice how if I drag back to zero, we can't see the particles. And as I drag the time forward, we can see the particles. And if I keep dragging, we just continue to see more particles with no end. I come over to the fireworks category and just choose one of the burst emitters, maybe something like this one here. Notice how if I drag back to zero, we can't see the particles. And if I drag forward at the very end, then the particles disappear. So there's three different kinds of particle emitters and whichever style you choose, you use this time slider to find the most suitable frame. All right, so I'm gonna need some fire for this. So I'm gonna come back to PI Fire. And the one I chose was Touch of Flame Orange. So this gives us some pretty realistic looking flames. And keep in mind that working with Particle Illusion in optics is quite different from downloading an image asset from a stock footage site. Everything is dynamic and live. And in this parameters window, it's where we can adjust the various parameters to fine tune the particle look. And that's not something you can do with stock imagery. So first of all, under World Transform, I'm just gonna rotate these flames. And I can adjust the position by clicking and dragging on this on-screen control. And again, adjust the time, just to see if I can find a more suitable frame. 
Maybe something like that. Gives us a few more flames around here. Under particle properties, there's various options that we can adjust to directly control the look of the particles without opening particle illusion. Things like the number of particles and the size of the particles. And also the random seed, which is a great tool for quickly trying out different variations. To adjust the color of the particles, we can twirl open composite and we can adjust the tint color. Maybe we can make these a deeper orange. And most of the time, these controls will be all you need. But if you do want finer control over the look of the particles, you can open particle illusion from within optics. Let's just say I didn't want the tint to tint the flames all one color. I'm going to undo that, come up and click on launch particle illusion, and that's going to launch the particle illusion interface. If I click and drag the current time indicator here, you can see our particles. To change the color of the particles, I click on the particle node, twirl open properties over here in the control panel, and twirl open colors. Click on the color gradient, and click to add a stop, double click, and choose a deeper orange. Now you can see I've got some deeper orange and some lighter orange. Might even want to change that to a red. Add another stop and make that one the deeper orange like that. So you can see you've got very fine control over the color of the particles and also all of the other properties that make up the look of these particles. When done, I simply click apply and return to optics. And you're not limited to just adjusting the particles. Inside Particle Illusion, you can control all aspects of the particle emitter including things like adding animation to suggest movement and using forces with things like liquid dynamics to build up these amazing looking effects. So when you get used to the parameters available inside Optics, I definitely recommend checking out the free Getting Started with Particle Illusion training series on the Boris FX website. Because once you get comfortable in Particle Illusion, what you can do with particles inside Optics is virtually limitless. Okay, so back here in Photoshop, let's use an optics mask to mask out some of these flames. I'm going to use a paint mask. Just increase the size of my brush. And just paint back in some of these flames. Next, I'm going to duplicate this layer. And just for a moment, just remove the mask. And I'm going to reposition these flames down near the dancer's knee. And once again, come down to my transform parameters and just adjust the rotation. Maybe try a different random seed. Add a mask. And just isolate these flames a little more. do that one more time. Duplicate, delete the mask, reposition. And for these ones, maybe we'll just come over to particle properties and just change the size. Make this a little smaller. And let's try a different time. So you can use the time slider and the random seed to zero in on exactly the style you want. Maybe something like that. I just come over to my second one here and just reposition that again. And we could probably just add a mask to this one as well. Once again, just a paint mask. And just make sure we've got only the parts of the flames that we want to see. Okay, so let's call the flames done. Now I want to add a bit more detail and interest by using some sparkles. So once again, I'll choose new layer, come down to my filters and type in spark, click on PI sparkles, and I'm gonna choose this one here, holiday sparkle area two. 
this has got a nice mix of larger sparkles and smaller kind of dust-like sparkles. I'm just going to click and move that into place. Maybe just somewhere down here. This is quite a small area of particles and we could open up Particle Illusion and increase the area size. But we can also spread them out just by coming over to Particle Properties and just increasing the velocity. I'm going to increase this quite dramatically, around 800. This just gives the particles more movement and you can see they've spread out further. Okay, so I'm going to finish this with a Particle Illusion background. So once again, new layer. And in the PI background category, I just click. I'm actually going to use the preset that is the thumb, this one down here, diagonal flame. So once again, moving this into position. A little bit of rotation. We could adjust the time to see if there's a more suitable frame. And of course, adjust the random seed. But I actually like time zero for this one because it has some nice fine streaks in it. There is a little too much over the dancer's body though. So once again, I'm going to add a mask. This time I'm going to choose a spot mask. Just move that into place and I'm going to invert it. And also just scale it down. This just adds a little more interest to that dark background. Okay, so that's the particles done. So I'm going to finish this look with a few Film Lab filters. New layer. Come down to the Film Lab category. I'm going to choose Film Stocks. Up here in the presets, click where it says All, and I'm going to choose Movie Looks. There's some really great movie looks in here. I found the Mad Max Fury Road 2 preset worked pretty well with this. Just added a bit of overall warmth. I want to finish this though with a bit more punchiness. So one last layer. Once again in Film Lab, come over to Looks. And I'm going to choose Punchy. That just brightens it up a bit and increases the contrast. Might be nice if we just adjust these particles though. Add a new mask. And that'll place the new mask after the previous mask. And I'm just going to paint a little bit of this back in. So everything's fully adjustable and fully modifiable at any time. And here's the final look with a few more adjustments. So you can see how Particle Illusion can really give you more options when you're working with your imagery. With just a few tweaks, you can change the look and feel of the shot completely using particle presets from different categories. All right, so thanks for watching. To learn more about optics or to download a trial version, be sure to visit borisfx.com.